Okay, here we're going to do a short circuit time constant example calculation. So here we have a common emitter amplifier. Our input is on the base and our output is on the collector. And we have three coupling capacitors or decoupling capacitors. We have CB at 10 microfarads, CC at 1 microfarad, and CE at 1 microfarad. Now these are on the scale where they are going to affect the low frequency response of the circuit. So let's do the analysis for CB, the base capacitor. Here I've redrawn the base capacitor circuit for analysis. We're going to replace the capacitor under analysis with the test voltage source V sub X. And we're going to measure the current I sub X that flows through that voltage source. Now we note when looking into the base of the transistor, in this case, because we don't have an emitter resistance, we see R pi. And so if we find Vx over Ix, we're going to find that it's equal to Ri plus R pi in parallel with R1 in parallel with R2. In other words, it's the series combination of the input resistance with all of the parallel resistance at the base of the transistor. This is equal to RCB, the driving point resistance seen by the CB capacitor. Next, let's look at the collector. Again, we're going to replace the collector capacitor with a test voltage source, Vx, and measure the current Ix that flows through that capacitor. And here we're going to find that Vx over Ix is equal to RL plus RC in parallel with RO from the transistor. Now above, I noted that the early voltage was equal to infinity, which means that the output resistance of the transistor is also infinity, so we can neglect it in this calculation. So the total here is our value RC, RCC. Okay, we have one more capacitor to analyze. In this case, it's the CE capacitor. So we're gonna replace the CE capacitor with a test voltage source. And again, measure the current flowing through it. In this case, BX over IX is equal to RE in parallel with the resistance seen looking into the source. And we know that that's 1 over GM. This is equal to RCE. Now, in many cases, 1 over GM is much smaller than RE, so we might be able to make the approximation that RCE is equal to 1 over GM. Of course, we have to be careful and check our assumption. Now, if we want to find the time constants, it's simply the product of the capacitance and the resistance. And now if we want to find the low frequency roll off, it's one over tau CB plus one over tau CC plus one over tau CE. And of course, if we wanted to convert this to Hertz, FL is equal to one over, oh, sorry, omega L over two pi. Now I notice that I, made a bit of an error in drawing my circuit. So I'm going to go back and correct that. I did the analysis for CC here. 
as if there were a load resistance R sub L on the circuit. And so if we go and look at my analysis, that's where this showed up. If there were no load in the circuit or load resistance in the circuit, then the total resistance would simply be RC. All right, so with that, we have an example of doing an SCTC analysis, and we will do more of these examples in class on Wednesday.